everyone, it's JoJo, and I have another garage sale haul slash estate sale haul for you. Um, as you can see, I have many different things that I found, um, and so I'm not going to waste a lot of time, and I'm just going to get right into it, and I'll try to show each piece rather quickly. That way, um, I'll be able to get through the whole video without making it too long for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what I found. I'll just start here at the front of the table. I found this beautiful um, purse. I'm going to guess maybe it's from the 40s. It has glass beading and fringe on the bottom on both sides here. Um, all the beads are intact. And the side here, um, the only thing I noticed was right there. Um, it came detached from the top of the purse right here on the side. So um, maybe it could be fixed. But other than that, it's gorgeous. What really drew me to it was um, the frame here. I thought it was so beautiful. And if you open the inside, I'll show you real quick. Um, the material on the inside is actually sewn together and there's glass beads all around it on the inside. And I paid $10 for the purse. She actually had a whole table filled with um, antique and vintage purses. And I just got one because I can't afford all of them. She has some really beautiful ones there, and I chose this one. So I got that. Um, these two uh, saucers came in the set, and I paid a uh, dollar for both of them. Um, and I have washed everything. Um, they've been sitting in my house for a few days, so I washed them over the weekend. Everything I got, like, Friday and Saturday. So this one is not marked. Um, I do believe it's Fenton Hobnail. And it looks like this. It's slightly smaller than the second one. And then this one is marked Fenton on the back. And I believe something probably went on top of those. Um, I know there's a mayonnaise jar and other thing, but I just thought they were cute and I will find, you know, a use for them. I got two of these. I paid $2 a piece and they are a Fire King pie plate. They're so pretty. I love these ones that are etched like that. And um, they're both identical. And I got two of those. I found this, oh my gosh, I just love this. I paid $2 for it. It is Fostoria glass, it is heirloom pattern, and this one is white. They actually come in different colors, but for $2, and it is perfect condition. The same place where I got the purse, I actually got also these educational posters, and these ones are on wildflowers, and there's 10 in there. Um, but they're like this. And they come, I paid 50 cents for the set of them. But what I really like is she wrote on the back what every flower is. So this one is the chicory and the queen Anne's lace. But every single poster has what they are on the back of it. And I thought those were really neat. I got this set of melamine um, dishes. And there actually was a few more pieces. I just my table is full, so I couldn't add everything. There's salt and pepper shaker, and there's some tumblers that go with it too. I don't know exactly what I paid for it because it was part of a bundle, but I'm gonna say probably around ten dollars for the whole set. And there's dishes. Um, I believe they're marked Texas Ware. Um, without getting the whole set down, I think that's what it said. Um, but it has a platter and everything, and I like those when the niece and nephews come over. Um, just that way they're not with my breakable dishes. So I pay 25 cents for this little guy, and it's a little martini glass, and he is marked Gay Fad. And as you see, when you stand him up, he's crooked. He's had a little too much to drink, and uh, his face is painted like that. But I thought he was really cute, and he'll go um, perfect at my bar. I got a set of three of these. I'm not sure the age on this. I just really love the color um, of the flowers. They do match my kitchen cabinet. Um, and I paid a dollar for all three of those. Um, this tin at the back, let me move around here. Um, I paid a dollar for the whole set and I really got it. It's a barbecue apron and it is, you paint this and inside this um, tin here is the rest of the set. And I don't know if the paints will still be good or anything. 
Um, but I only paid a dollar for it. And the paints are, whoops, dropped that right off my table. Um, let me grab one out for you. Some of them are in the boxes. Um, some are just like this. But um, Artex, and they're a roll-on embroidery paint. It says from Lima, Ohio. And there is one little um, piece that had been worked in it, and it had a date at the bottom. So it said 1965, December 25th, 1965. So the set was from the 60s. Um, like I said, I don't know if the paint is good in it, but I really, the apron would be perfect. I can paint it or do something with it. But um, I have actually got a couple barbecue aprons now um, for my husband, so I thought this one would be neat. I got this Federal Glass Bowl, and I paid 50 cents for it. It is marked Federal on the bottom, mixing bowl. I think some of these had a lid on it. This one does not. Whoops. And then I got... Um, it's a Pyrex casserole, and the pattern, I think, is, uh, what is it, Empire Scroll, maybe? I think it's Empire Scroll, Emperor Scroll, something like that, and I paid a dollar for it, and it does have the cradle. I just couldn't fit it on the table, so put that there. These are really neat. I'm excited about these. Um, I paid $5 for the set. There's actually two sets, and the one is kind of broken. Um, this one is not marked. This is the lamb. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb. So you have the schoolhouse lamb, and then you have Mary here. And this one does have, says, um, Mother Goose Pop-Ups. That was this? Oh, pin -up, sorry. Mother Goose Pin-Ups, and it says Mary Had a Little Lamb. And then this is the second set that came with it. Came with it. Um, there's a little wood chop there, little duck. Um, and then this one is broken off. It was supposed to have a fish on the end here. And this is his Peter pumpkin eater. Um, and I know somebody asked me if I had very, I had um, vintage Halloween things, and I said not really. I don't have a whole lot, but I thought this would be kind of cute for Halloween. I could put that out. That was cute with the little nursery rhyme and the pumpkin. So that's those. I just love the graphics on those. So let me scoot back around the table here. And I'll show you the last few things that I got. These I found in, everything so far has been found at various garage sales. These two were actually found in an estate sale. And it was half off day and all the books were 50 cents. So I only paid 25 cents for both. And these are from the 1930s. The first one I'm going to show you is my favorite one. This is a kitchen one. And so everything in it is food related. There's so many neat, there's actually booklets in here. Um, articles. Like here's a, a book. But oh my gosh, it's so neat. I could look through this forever. It's all from the 30s. Some are typed out. Some are just pictures, there's recipes. Like here's another booklet. But um, this one is almost completely full. So I've looked through this many times already and I'll probably keep looking through it. This I'm actually, I'm gonna keep it in the kitchen here. Thought it would be a neat thing to have. That one's blank. Oh, I thought this one was almost completely full. I guess it's probably more than half full. This one here, still um, from the 1930s, and they all have the same um, J.R. Williams comic, um, like a little comic strip that they cut out. And every page here has a different one. And so those are neat, those are neat to go through too. So I paid 25 cents a piece for those. I got several different linens again. Um, the one garage sale had everything for 25 cents and 10 cents. So I paid 10 cents for this doily. And it's all crocheted and it has crochet flowers all the way around. And it is quite large. Um, and before I show you the other things I got there, I did pick up two um, more aprons at another garage sale. I paid a dollar for this one. It has some embroidery um, 
flowers on each side and this very delicate material and lace on the bottom. Now I have some that have lace like this that are a little bit older. They're more antique than they are vintage. So I'm not sure the age of this one, but I just thought it was real pretty and I like the ivory color on it. And then I got this apron and it has, let me start, start at the bottom, it has a scalloped bottom to it and a pocket. And I paid $2 for this one. And in the pocket, see if I can get it out here. See, you put your hand in here and it's like a little, a little hot pad here. So I thought that was really neat. I like that in there. Doesn't have a whole lot of cushion in it, so I'm not sure how much it would protect you from the heat, but I just thought it was really neat. So I got those. Now these were part of the grass there where everything was 25 cents and 10 cents. Almost everything I got um, does have flaws to it. Like this little pillowcase has little puppies on it and um, it does have little holes in it. But they're pretty minor. And I got another doily and it was 10 cents. This apron, I actually, I got there in midday and so I just started snatching stuff up because it was, you know, such a really great price that this one actually has quite a bit issues. It's faded, half apron and um, the pocket, the stitching on the pocket is coming off. But anyway, so I got that one and then these are all just button down aprons and I paid um, 10 cents a piece for those. And then all of these tablecloths here in the middle, right here, I think there's six of them. I paid a, um, a quarter a piece for them and they all have major holes in them, major condition issues, maybe seven. Um, but uh, it's okay. The one I actually have on the table right now is hard to see. I got there too and it was near perfect condition and I paid 50 cents for that one. Let's see, I got a couple of tea towels um, I pay 25 cents a piece for these. This is an Irish recipe one, traditional Irish recipes. And then it has the recipes here. And they're both made by the same company, Fengal, and made in Ireland. So there's one with the recipes on it. And then they're, and these feel like they've never been used. They're very um, crisp. And then this one with the shamrocks on it. And then I found uh, one just embroidered little doily here, um, a table runner, 10 cents a piece. Um, this one I think is a scarf actually. And I paid 10 cents for it. it has little windmills in the middle. And then lastly, I got a quilt and it is a baby quilt. And I paid 50 cents for it. And I just love the colors of it. It's like, it's a very thin quilt, so it's more like a blanket. But um, I'm not really sure the age on it, how old it is. I just loved um, the way the animals looked on it. I'm trying to get you a better <laughs> picture so you can see that. It has a little puppy dog on it. It has a little giraffe on it, a little bear on it. Um, it does have a rip in the corner of it. And I didn't know this that until later, but that's all right. A little elephant. So, so that's everything that I found over the weekend. I actually did find some jewelry also, but I am going to be doing that in a totally different haul because that would take me forever to go through. So anyway, I hope all of you have a great day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already if you love vintage things like I do. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.